reason I came to the conference is to really just hear from leaders in the space who are working or interacting with the continent on what they see as you know the gaps or potential for growth on the continent. I was looking at the lineup and the list of speakers, found them really interesting. I was really interested as well in the area around the startups and uh, the large institutions, what their role is to be able to scale on the continent. This is one of the rare occasions where we can spend time to, to talk about the challenges in Africa, to talk about what is the future of Africa from a business perspective, but from an economic perspective as well. It's such a pleasure to welcome you all here in London for this Africa Summit to address really important topics about the future of Africa and in particular unleashing the human capital. The Ghanaian economy whose growth stood at 3.6% in 2016, the lowest in two decades, grew by 8.5% in 2017 and is expected to grow in 2018 by 8.3%, which according to the IMF, would make it the fastest growing economy in the world this year. There is a palpable can-do spirit now in Ghana. We want to build a Ghana beyond aid. So I saw the president of Ghana. He was super inspiring. I think as an opening speech, it couldn't have been any better. He really showed what is possible and the change that is possible in Africa with strong and honest leadership. Africa was the primary provider of basic phosphates for the rest of the world to manufacture fertilizers. Now, 75% of the fertilizers used in Africa are produced in Africa. Partnering and collaboration, standardization and decentralization are important drivers to achieving scale. There has to be collaboration across all facets of society, both locally and internationally. I do believe that we will see the growth um, that we want to see in Africa. In the past 15 years, ISC's investment in Sub-Saharan Africa grow from less than $200 million a year to over $3 billion. And our plan with this new capital increase is to redouble that. When you look at trade regionally also, it has to be maybe an approach where you really choose each country what it can really do the best, most competitively, and therefore supply to everybody. It's really about making industry competitive and making it at scale. Working together, um, creating larger markets, we can do much better as a group of countries as opposed to, to individual countries. These trade agreements enable African countries to develop local content. I think that's a good thing because everywhere in the world where local content has succeeded, it is always consistently lowered costs. It was a great panel uh, with very divergent views um, ranging from supporting local industries so they're competitive versus having more tariffs to encourage local industry and then also the investor perspective. We felt that you know, we should work closely with government and the private sector to achieve that objective. You can't outrun your identity. The best thing you can do is to make sure that the countries that you are originally from are thriving. So you've got to be involved and you've got to find ways to scale up your impact. And if you can do that, coming out of this conference, then it would have been a really great use of your lifetime. What I love about Africa Business Summit is that every year it, it gets together such an amazing crowd of people here in one room talking about Africa. It's absolutely exciting. So it wouldn't be possible without each and every one of you. Thank you. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I've met a wide range of, of people with varying backgrounds and uh, various interests. And I think um, the organizing committee did an excellent job in making sure that the attendees were diverse. It's been amazing. I've uh, learned so much. Um, I've met some interesting people. Um, and it's always great to talk about the African continent and the business that we do. I think whenever we have an opportunity to network and to be able to like strengthen our relationship but also create new opportunities for collaboration, we should do so. And the LBS is a great place to be able to achieve those objectives. 
I think there's an awakening I've seen on social media around Africa and how the mindset needs to change. And for a lot of us that has come out here to the West, I think we need to then go back and take that learnings back to Africa. We need to organize more of these events globally and we are looking much forward to, to attend some of these events like this.